was but trained and aware of all the new ideas, the outside the box, the changing of the paradigm so that we enhance value while we deliver public service, we will see a continuing deterioration on the quality of public service in our country. America can and must be the service nation. That is our character and that is our calling. After I finish speaking, you will have the great treat of having John Jovi, my friend, come and urge all of you to sign the Declaration of Service. He knows how important it is that we make a personal commitment. Don't just come these last two days and then go home and do what you did before. Go home and do something even more and be part of this movement to create this service nation. I was fortunate as a child to be taught the importance of service in my church and my family and my school. And so I grew up believing that those of us who were blessed with opportunities by our great country really did owe something back. And it has stayed with me my entire life. I have been in elected office for a relatively few number of years of my adult life but I was in service my entire life. And it was that service which taught me not only a lot about my country, but a lot about myself. An understanding of what giving to others really means to you. One of my favorite descriptions of that is something that James Keller once said, a candle loses nothing of its light by lighting another candle. And what we are doing here today is igniting millions, tens of millions reach out and ignite those of others. I have seen service alive and well throughout our nation. I've seen the enthusiasm of not only young people, but older people as well. I was listening to Anne in the introduction talk about the old story of what it really means to have a satisfying, happy, meaningful life. For me, service has always been part of that. America was born of citizen service. Our Declaration of Independence was the first Declaration of Service. Our founders pledged their sacred honor to the cause of this new nation. I think about all the generations since who delivered on that promise of America. Now it is our turn to come together on behalf of this nation we love to perform the service that we are called upon to do. Every year, my staff volunteers on 9-11 to mark a day of mourning with a day of community involvement. I remember helping to kick off my good deed, founded by Jay Winnick and David Payne in 2003, following the death on 9-11 of Jay's brother attorney and a volunteer firefighter, Glenn. He perished in the line of duty on 9-11. He was serving. He didn't have to be there. In fact, he dropped everything because he knew he was needed and he wanted to serve. My good deed was born of that same spirit, and it really does bring all of us here today, all the organizations represented, all of the individuals who understand the importance of service. After Hurricane Katrina, more than 100,000 National Service volunteers served the people of New Orleans and the Gulf Coast. The news reports are accurate. We will face another great natural disaster with Hurricane Night. I have no doubt that once again, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of Americans will come to the aid Waves of destruction were met with waves of volunteers. Those who understood there is so much more that unites us as human beings and Americans than divides us. We are all capable of making that difference. You see it in the eyes of the child and the tutor. You see it in the grateful smile of the older American who accepts the meal on wheels or and to be held waiting in the hospital. You 
see it in the schools where so many volunteers are interacting with and encouraging young people who may not hear an encouraging word anywhere else in their lives. So with the privileges that we have been given as Americans, we have a tremendous responsibility. America did not have it by accident. We didn't stumble upon it. We created it. We fought for it. We struggled to defeat those who undermined this great, unprecedented, historical experiment known as America. We are the beneficiaries of that struggle. And therefore, it's time for us to turn our individual acts of service into a great ocean of service that reaches across this country and far beyond our borders. We will be answering the call to serve something greater than ourselves. I think it takes a village. Now, it takes a nation. And service nation, we are ready to join up. Thank you all.